Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video. Why do I have to say what today I'm going to be doing? Like, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all my skincare. Um, a lot of you guys, this is like one of the most highly requested, frequently asked questions that I get, um, whether it be on YouTube or on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Anytime I show my face bare and naked like I have it now, um, people ask me what I did to clear up my skin and they ask me what my skincare routine is. While I do have a skincare routine that I'm gonna be discussing with you guys today, I'm not gonna be showing you guys my skincare routine again because it's literally the same exact routine that I've been doing before um, with the exception of one product that I've added in. But other than that, my, my skincare routine is pretty much the same from the previous video, which if you haven't seen my previous skincare video, I do have one. It is up on my channel now, so you can definitely check that out to get the full details of everything um, and how I go through the process of my skincare routine. I wanted to go ahead and give my disclaimer once again, like I did in my last video. My skin did not stop breaking out because of these products. None of these things that I used on my face this whole year are specifically for acne. Most of these things are in the anti-aging category, the anti-aging and refining category. I have another video specifically talking about how I cleared up my acne. I think what cleared up my skin was me actually taking out the time to figure out why my skin was breaking out and treating that. It's diet related and it's hormonal related. Basically, this whole year I've been on a health journey which I will be doing an update on that video. I've stopped eating certain foods and then I've also been cutting out a lot of the stressors in my life. So I've been doing a lot of stress therapy, um, relieving myself of stress and pressure and anxiety and things like that. That has really helped with my hormones to get back in balance. You wanna make sure that the water you're putting on your face and the water you're drinking is healthy. Drinking water and eating the right foods for your body definitely makes a difference. So make sure you know what you're allergic to. Fried foods, processed foods, dairy are a no-no for me. Anything that's heavy in the sugar and gluten category, which is basically everything I like, but I have to cut back. Can I help you? Um, as you can tell, my skin is pretty clear. I have no active breakouts and I don't really get them. Um, if I do get any breakouts, I get maybe a pimple here or there. My skin is pretty even texture and even toned. I do still have a couple dark marks. Some of these marks are a lot older or they are just kind of permanent. This burn mark has been there since 2013, so that's not going away anytime soon. And let me also say that just because these products work for me don't mean that they will work for you. I know that these products are expensive. A lot of them are very, very expensive, but I do find that products that are more expensive work better and faster because they don't have a long shelf life. So when products don't have a long shelf life, that means the ingredients in them are more, are active and more pure. Drugstore products don't really work as fast, especially when you're talking about refining and changing the texture of your skin, getting rid of dark spots. You really need something that's gonna penetrate your pores and uh, I don't find that many drugstore products do that. The number one product that I feel like totally transformed my skin as far as like the texture and dark spots and all of that goes. This is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I purchased this product with my own money three times this year. This is a high potency lactic acid treatment. It is specifically made to help with wrinkles, fine lines, dark spots, discoloration, um, and make your skin look more bright and clear. Basically, it's a cream exfoliant. The best way to get rid of dark spots and texture in your skin is to exfoliate your skin. I don't think that physical exfoliants, which are like scrubs, like facial scrubs, I don't think those are effective, especially if you have acne prone skin that has active breakouts on your face, you can't use a scrub because it's gonna spread bacteria. I find that exfoliants like this, which is the cream exfoliant, work a lot better. They penetrate into your pores better. Over time, this has really helped like transform the actual look and feel of my skin. This was the most effective product in changing the way my skin appears. This helps the turnover rate for like dark spots and things like that. So when I get newer breakouts and newer dark spots, they don't last as long as they normally would when I'm using this product. So this helps to repair my skin faster. 
The cheaper alternative to this would be the Acne.org AHA cream that I've talked about before. Um, I don't use it as much as this, only because this works a lot faster. This is $100, so it's not cheap by any means, but it definitely works. I feel like it works faster than the AHA cream. The, I'm, I'm coming on the end of my third bottle, so that's about right um, that in 12 months I've used it three to four times because uh, I use it about every three months I run out of this. Um, there is a bigger bottle, but it's like $150 and I'm not, I'm not there. Next thing that I feel has transformed my skin tremendously, this is the TLC by Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant products are definitely my favorite product line for the year, I will say for skincare. As far as skincare goes, Drunk Elephant products are my favorite underdog product. Like, they're really, really good. They are expensive. They can be found in Sephora, but they work. I haven't used all of it only because I alternate between these two. Um, this one I feel is not as strong as this, but I still really love it. It definitely works, and I definitely think that it's worth a shot. It is an AHA BHA blend, so it's 12% AHA BHA. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's an alpha hydroxy acid. Um, lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. Um, so alpha hydroxy acids are the exfoliating acids that go into your skin and exfoliate it and change the texture and the dark spots and all of that. It helps to like get rid of all of that. So this is a gel and it resurfaces dull congested skin by lifting away dead skin cells. Like the good jeans, it is for fine lines, wrinkles, and other signs of aging. Um, and it also helps with excess oiliness and pores. Now, the problem is you cannot use these two together. You should not use these two together because it'll thin your skin out over time. So you have to make sure that you use one or the other. I love the way these open, by the way. I feel like this pumps out less than this does. It pumps out a lot of product, and so I end up running out of this faster than I run out of this. So um, these two are great. Um, another product that I feel really helped with refining my texture, getting rid of dark spots and all of that is the TLC by Drunk Elephant. And this is the Sukari Baby Facial. And this is a little bit more intense than this. It is the same concept. It uses 25% AHA and 2% BHA. So um, this is 12%, this is 25%. So it's a little bit more potent. This to me would be the equivalent of going to a spa or an esthetician and getting a chemical peel done. It's not as strong as a chemical peel. It doesn't make your skin actually peel off. Um, I didn't experience any peeling when I used this. It does have a tingling sensation. Um, you definitely wanna like keep it away from your eyes because it will burn your eyes or whatever if you get it too close to your eyes. It is a little bit more expensive, but if you go to get a chemical peel, you're gonna be spending around 150, I think. So I feel like this is a cheaper alternative because you can do it at home. So you use it one to two times a week at max no more than that for 20 minutes and you rinse it off I probably only use this once a month actually I don't use this very often but I do feel like using this has helped to um, refine my texture as well you are supposed to follow this up with a foil so I do have the um, virgin marula oil that they suggest to use this product with my skincare routine is pretty much the same. Still do a two-step cleansing method, so I'll use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. And this is, like I said before, my favorite makeup remover. I don't use makeup wipes um, because I feel like makeup wipes strip my skin of moisture and they make my skin feel really dry afterwards. I only use makeup wipes if I'm on the plane or something like that or on the go and I don't have this with me. And then I go in with the face wash. This is the Face Soap and Clarity. Like I've said before, I don't think face washes make a difference. I really don't have a face wash that I can say that it's really transformed my skin. I like this one just because it cleans, it leaves my skin feeling nice afterwards. I don't have a problem with it and I love it, so that's why I use it. After I wash my face and clean it and all that stuff, I immediately go in with my iris extract and this is by Kiehl's. This is the Activating Treatment Essence. It does say that it's supposed to enhance your skincare products that you put on on top. Um, I don't know how well that works, but I will say that it does help me retain moisture. That's one product that I've added to my skincare routine since the last time I made one. Lately, I've been using um, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, and that's only because I ran out of my other moisturizer and I needed another one. Um, pretty much any moisturizer will do. In the wintertime, I do transition to a cream as opposed to a light moisturizer, or I'll use an oil 
and the oil that I use is the Virgin Marula one by Drunk Elephant. In the daytime, the only thing that I would suggest is um, I've been using the Vitamin C Serum by Drunk Elephant. This is the C Firma. Um, you don't necessarily need a Vitamin C Serum. I just feel like it makes my skin really soft and radiant. The one product that I will say I cannot go without in the daytime is a sunscreen. And the only reason I say to use a sunscreen is because if you are not using a sunscreen and you're using super heavy duty products like this or like the Good Jeans, your skin is very, very sensitive. So you don't want to damage your skin in the process of trying to heal it. So you do want to use a sunscreen. The sunscreen that I like the most is the Glossier Invisible Shield, and this is SPF 35. I also really like the Benefit Dream Screen, which is SPF 45, but that one is clearly never in stock anywhere. It's always sold out, so I have to use this one. But I like this one too. It's clear, it doesn't leave a white residue. Um, I don't feel it, it doesn't smell like sunscreen, so it's pretty much invisible. If you want to see a skincare routine, showing you guys how I use the products in action, you can definitely um, watch the video in the card section up here or in the description box. I will make sure to link that. But other than that, that's all I do to my skin. And I feel like those are the products that work for me. They were the best products I've tried. Um, and I've been using them all year long. And I think the consistency um, in conjunction with the fact that these products are awesome has really helped to clear my skin. But I did wanna show you guys my skin um, live and in the flesh, what it looks like. Um, and this is it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But yeah, that is all. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.